जी नमस्ते तार प्रसन्ना जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन वी बीन डूइंग यूएच बी थ्री एंड इन यूएच बी थ्री वी हैव डन इलेवन लेक्चर्स एंड वी आर ऑन द प्रैक्टिस सेशंस एंड इन द प्रैक्टिस सेशंस वी आर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू वी कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ now we are doing exercise 2 observing the self and the body by the self and this is also nearing completion we are up to step 6 so briefly recapping the steps i'm sure they are all familiar to you by now exercise 2 step 1 we are trying to see the two realities the self and the body as distinct entities and we can see they are distinct entities i can see the self that i am there because i can see the activities going on in me the activities of desire thought expectation and i can also see that the body is there because i can read sensations from the body in step 2 we were trying to see the interaction between these two entities the self and the body and we said that whatever interaction there is is only in the form of information there is nothing physical being transferred between these two units it is information as in i give some instruction to the body body follows this is information there are many sensations in the body i read some sensation i give some meaning to it and i decide what to do with it this is all information in step 3 we were seeing who is the decision maker in all of this interaction and we could see that it is i who is the decision maker i am the one who is deciding what instruction to give to the body when to give it and i am deciding what sensation to read from the body when to read depending on what i consider important for me at that time so i am the one who is deciding essentially i am the one making all the decisions regarding the interaction therefore we said that i am as the self i am the seer i am the doer i am the experiencer and i am using the body like a tool or an instrument for my use in step 4 we were trying to see the distance between the self and the body and we said that if we look at this any sensation in the body we can see that i am not in the sensation neither am i the sensation but i can observe the sensation from a distance so i am at a distance from the sensation or in other words we can say that there is a distance between the self and the body this was step 4 then in step 5 we were talking about when there is this interaction whether it be with the body you know within the body or whether it be with the help of the body with the world outside then what is the process i go through what happens so we looked at in step 5 we saw that there are three possible sources of sensation that i can read through the body one can be when i am interacting with other human beings so with the help of the sense organs in the body i get some information about the person i am interacting with for example when the other person speaks says something the sound is reaching the ears in my body and it is leading to some sensation i am choosing to read that sensation i may choose not to read it also if i am busy with something else i may not choose to read it but if i choose to read it that is my choice my choice i am reading that sensation then i am giving some meaning to it 
that meaning that I give and even the choice of reading or not reading, that depends on my sanskar. Whatever I have accepted to be true, whatever I give importance to. So depending on the meaning that I give to this, when I read this sensation, depending on you know, whether I have acceptance for it or not, whether I'm influenced or not with that, I will see that I either respond or react in this interaction. So if we, yes, thank you. So if we look at this chart, you can see in this case, we're talking about whether it be something outside, an event outside, behavior of another human being, or any physiochemical change outside, or whether it be some sensation in the body, regardless of what is happening outside. So all three of these, none of these reach me directly. All of these three reach the body. Now, I choose to read and taste the sensation. I am giving the meaning to the sensation along with my sanskar. This sanskar can be based on understanding or it may be with the lack of understanding. And accordingly, if it is lacking understanding, I may be getting influenced by the sensation. If I have understanding, my feeling is definite. I am happy within, I am not influenced. But largely we will find we are getting influenced by the outside and choosing our feeling based on whatever meaning we have given to the occurrence. And we are either happy or unhappy based on you know, whatever that sanskar, whatever meaning we have given. And therefore we react or respond. So when my sanskar is based on understanding, then with the understanding, I have the right feeling. With the right feeling, I am happy within. With that happiness, when I look at the situation outside, I'm rightly able to evaluate it and I respond to the situation. But if I am lacking understanding, I will not be able to ensure the right feeling within me. So I may not be happy within. I may not rightly evaluate the situation outside and I may react. So in the case of sanskars without understanding, it may be in line with natural acceptance or not in line. So whether I will be happy at that moment or not, that is not clear. It depends on whether it is to my liking or not to my liking. So all this is much is going on in the cell. Then if I choose to express it outside, then I instruct the body and then the body acts according to my instructions. And then there is the expression outside. So all of these steps, if we are aware of them, then we can see how important it is for us to be able to identify our sanskars, to be able to observe our sanskars and drop the ones that are not in line with understanding, not in line with natural acceptance and keep the ones that are significant or th those that are in line with natural acceptance. So in all of these steps, you can see it is the sanskar that is playing a major role in my decision to read or not read the sensation, in the meaning I give to it, whether I respond or react, whether I'm influenced or not influenced, all these things you will notice that it is the sanskar that is 
driving this. So therefore, I need to observe the sanskar. This we said in step five. Then in step six, yesterday we opened up step six. And in step six, we said that in all of these cases, when I am reading the sensation, then if my sanskar is based on an assumption without knowing, I am not able to have this continuous happiness within. So I keep looking for happiness from outside, either from getting the right sensation, say tasty food, that kind of thing, um, a pleasurable sensation on the skin, whatever it may be. Or I am trying to get the right feeling from somebody else, another human being. So my decisions are getting influenced by the sensation. If I like the taste of the sensation or of the feeling reduced from the sensation through the sanskar, then I become happy, so-called happy. It is actually a state of excitement. I cannot continue with it. I do try, but it is not possible. And so at some point, I become unhappy. I have this craving, I have clinging. I want this state to continue. So there is a reaction within. Whenever there is some, something, some sensation that is pleasurable for me, I say I like it and I want to continue with it. So this is the type of reaction. Supposing I dislike the taste or the feeling that I'm getting from the sensation through the sanskar, then also there is excitement but it is a state of unhappiness. I want to avoid the situation. I want to discontinue with the taste. I have an aversion for such a taste. I say that I do not like it. So I decide against the unpleasant sensation or the unpleasant feeling. And this is also a reaction within. How many times it happens, no? Somebody speaks to us rudely, and we don't want to talk to them again. We avoid these people. And we think that we are okay with them. And we say that I am happy with them because I am now not with that person. That person is not troubling me. It was not about the other person troubling me. Yes, I am no longer you know, coming in touch with this person. I am no longer interacting with this person. But can you see that I am trying to avoid the unhappiness by coming in contact? Avoiding unhappiness doesn't equate to happiness within me. Because when I am avoiding the other person, you can see what is happening. I have a feeling of opposition for the other person. This is the cause of my unhappiness, not the other person. So when I have this feeling within me, this feeling of opposition, I'm unhappy with it. And I think it is the person outside who is responsible. So I keep avoiding. But what do I do with my thoughts within me? What do I do that every time these thoughts surface, again, that unhappiness creeps up? And I want continuity of happiness. So this is a cause of disturbance within me. This is a cause of discomfort within me. And so we need to do something about it, right? Of course, if I, you can go to the next slide. If I choose to express this outside, then it happens to the body. So, Supposing somebody else, that other person is there and I 
person is saying something and I get irritated and I say something back. Now this is also a reaction. Already I was reacting inside. I chose to express it outside. And so the body followed the instruction and it happened outside. And so we keep doing this. It is important to see that whether we express it outside or not, the reaction inside, if it is happening, is leading to my unhappiness. And that is significant for me. So we think that if we didn't show it on our face or if the other person didn't see it, it's okay. But is it really okay? Try to check within whether you are comfortable with this kind of arrangement, with avoiding people. Slowly you will find that you are avoiding many people. Because to have somebody be exactly like me or having tastes, opinions similar to mine is going to be very difficult. And even with those people who seem to have opinions like mine, Will they always be thinking what I am thinking? Will they always be in the mood that I am in? So you'll find that it is a very tough situation. And therefore life seems a struggle because I'm constantly trying to change the other person. I'm constantly trying to make things better outside. In fact, the problem is not outside. The problem is inside with the meaning that I have given to whatever interaction is happening. And this meaning that I am giving is dependent on whatever I have believed to be true without verifying. So whatever I have believed to be true in the form of my sanskars, I need to observe them. I need to check. I need to verify. Keep the ones that are you know, important for me or significant for me or right for me or those that are naturally acceptable and then let go of the ones that are not naturally acceptable. So this we had discussed yesterday and as a, just as a brief example, we had given a, a hypothetical situation that you are walking on the side of the road and a car speeds past you through a puddle of water and the muddy water splashes on your body and you're wearing clean clothes. You just had a bath and you're wearing clean clothes and this muddy water splashes on you, on the body. Now, in such a hypothetical situation, if you are to read and taste this sensation, what would you observe? What would be your feelings and thoughts? Are you reading the sensation as it is? Or are you attaching some meaning with it? What kind of feeling do you have for the driver of the car? What kind of thoughts are you having for him or her? Are your feeling and thoughts based on understanding or on some assumption without understanding? Check if you're feeling happy or unhappy. Do you respond or react to the situation? These questions we had asked you to look at and we thought we would get your response. Good morning, madam. Namaste to all. Namaste. In the hypothetical situation, I tried to analyze and I found that in the beginning, I will have definitely reaction uh, about the driver who has no sense of civil uh, understanding. But in the next time when I understand that, yes, I can do nothing because he, he has gone uh, with his speed and uh, yes, I cannot catch and perhaps nothing can be done. So then I try to console myself that um, perhaps he doesn't know and uh, these things, and he is not caring for others also. But still, if I become unhappy, 
then what will be the result so no matter what it happens and uh, i should console myself and uh, tell that yes let it let by gone be by gone thank you thank you yeah so nice this is one way of looking at it consoling yourself but you see here also what we are doing is you know what we believe about the other person he has no civic sense he doesn't care for others you know all this we have said yeah. about the other person because this is what we believe about the other person mm -hmm. now think about it that sometimes it might happen that you are driving in the car and some passenger is walking on the side and you are busy in thought mm -hmm. and you are so busy in thought you are not noticing that the puddle is there and this person is walking nearby and you just drive past mm -hmm. it can happen no yes yes so now you see that it was not your intention to cause that muddy water to splash on the other person but it happened by mistake hmm. so similarly for the other person also it could have happened by mistake but yeah. i gave this meaning to it so i tell myself okay it's all right some people will be like that they will never understand they are like this they don't care about others but here what kind of feeling do i have for the other not a pleasant one no 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 yes so i can see that there is a feeling of opposition here now yeah. i may get over this and i may carry on with my you know the rest of the things but this is going to linger in me because somewhere it is stuck it's not going to leave until i resolve it mm -hmm. so if i same situation now if i look at it and i say okay by mistake he must have it must have happened now observe how you feel within that very moment you feel better you feel calm because now you feel okay it could have happened with me also something like this it happened it just happened i'll deal with it i will change my clothes and then it doesn't seem such a big deal but before that if i have feeling of opposition it seems like a very big thing so like you mentioned you know when you are going through a process like this of exploration these thoughts do come to you mm. both kinds of thoughts come to you one is that you know these people are uncivilized and this kind of thing the other could be okay it's all right it's happened why to think about it but these are just thoughts at the base if my feeling is not corrected and beyond that if in the meaning that i am giving to this na through my sanskar that uh, is really motivating my driving my feeling then all of this i need to look at and ultimately that is what will you know what we are trying to do so we are trying to check with our natural acceptance if you notice we mentioned and we'll be talking about that again uh, so in case of you know the when we were talking about the lectures and even in step uh, in exercise 1 we mentioned that what is naturally acceptable to us our feelings of relationship of harmony of coexistence so anything contrary to this kind of feeling i am bound to be unhappy this if i am able to see then i will try to align all my feelings in line with this and in that process i will also be able to observe the sanskars that are leading to a feeling not in line with this so i will just observing those sanskars i will be able to easily drop them so all this will happen in a very natural unfolding as we keep progressing with this um, exercise and exploration important thing is to continue the exploration to continue the observation
ஒரு <laughs> Mm-hmm. he may be not a skilled driver you know even when mm-hmm. i learned the driving even i had gone through all these things that uh, i was not able to you know take care of the puddle and i used to jump into it mm-hmm. so keeping that in my mind that intention is clear but maybe in his skill he is he has to work so by thinking in that way uh i was in a comfortable zone yeah nice yeah. yes so you will notice this uh, you know one moment you have one kind of feeling the next moment because of the exploration because of the observation because of the thoughts moving in that direction uh-huh. you are able to have the right feeling and right. it makes all the difference you feel better inside right yeah nice thank you really thank you singhi so, didi namaste sabhi ko namaste uh didi i would like to share the um, other side of this like daily when i am uh, going and on the way there is a street where people are washing their porch and lot of water is there in the uh, road side and uh, i i know actually since i am used to that uh, way so i know uh, i have to be careful uh, while uh, driving and while moving so i initially observed that where is the way which so that i should go and uh, water does not splash but sometimes the water is so much that i didn't get the proper way that i should go even if i try to go slow even then then a little water splashes out and sometimes i am uh, getting late so i don't have choice to go a little slow like that so that way i hello you have the choice but you choose to not go slow because you want to reach in time ha 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 yeah. right right so uh, that way i understand that i am having that understanding uh, that uh, um, the intention of the person uh, is uh, not wrong maybe either a situation or the things are like uh, the person has splashes out of the mud or like this this i would like to share yeah but we specifically asked for you to look at the other side of it that you are the one who's walking and you are the one whose clothes get splashed see it's a very different scenario when you are in the car and you are rushing to work so we tend to justify things about others and about ourselves in yeah. whatever is convenient to us mm-hmm. because here you know nothing really significant happened for you yeah. isn't it yeah. but if you were on the road side and mm-hmm. that water got splashed on you mm-hmm. now how would you would you respond would you react this is why that question was put but you can see what we are trying to get at no ha right right that's what i said ki i have that Uh, understanding so my uh, in my case i will respond i will not react that what i will i would like to convey that since i know the situation in my own case so that way i it will be easy for me to understand the situation of other also yes that is true 
if we are aware at that moment. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times we will find that it's all very nice when we are thinking about it, when we are talking about it as information, it seems right. And I tell myself that, of course, I will respond. But when I'm actually in that situation, mm -hmm. if I'm not aware, then I may slip back into that old sanskar or old meaning that I'm giving. Mm -hmm. That are these people, they can't, you know, they are so uncivilized. It's a very common thing. Huh. Right. Yeah. So we have to be aware. Right. And we have to see what kind of meaning we are giving. Are we looking at the sensations or whatever we are, you know, the interaction that is happening? Are we looking at it yeah. the way it is? Or yeah. are we giving some meaning to it? Which yes. is yeah. Yeah. Based on our own sanskar. So this observation we have to keep doing. Thanks. Yes. Thank you. Namaskar, madam. Namaskar to all. Madam, are you able to hear me? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Ah, thank you, madam. Uh, for that hypothetical situation, I can uh, say that it may be due to two reasons. One is uh, out of uh, uh, careless uh, driving and uh, the first one, second one is uh, by mistake. But uh, if I observe my competence immediately i react madam why because mm -hmm. even though the two reasons may be there but uh, my competence generally reacts i uh, it feels discomfort however later i try to convey him also maybe with carelessness or maybe by mistake i can understand uh, both uh, uh, in both the cases the intention is uh, same so i would like to uh, suggest them also politely uh, so could you please uh, drive with care uh, uh, otherwise uh, you see uh, how have i become uh, like that i i thought madam i would have conveyed them i can understand uh, later only but immediately i react later i try to respond <laughs> my feeling madam this is so this immediate reaction ah, yes madam when we are not aware yeah no? it is because of the meaning that we have given yes madam yes. and when we say it is either by mistake or uh, with carelessness carelessness there also carelessness means what lack of understanding ah, lack of understanding so again in both cases like you said intention is pure ah, same madam it is only lack of competence. You may no. not have the possibility of talking to the person because he would have driven away. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I cannot. <laughs> uh, but uh, you can see what, you know, the problem outside madam. is not as large as the problem inside. Yeah, outside, yeah. Outside, yeah. it happened for a, you know, just for a split second. Yeah, this. momentary. Yeah, yeah, madam. And the person is gone. Yeah. But we may keep talking about it. We may keep thinking about it. We may tell 10 other people about it. Mm -hmm. You know what happened today. Each time we do that, we are reliving those emotions. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is now that we are exploring, we are yeah, able yeah. to see another way of looking at it. We are able to see that mm -hmm. this is one way of giving meaning to it. But mm -hmm. I can also see that the intention of the other person is pure. Therefore, like you, many others have mentioned that initial moment there is reaction. Yes, madam. But on rethinking and reevaluating, you know, in a calmer situation, you are able to see the difference. Yes, madam. So ultimately, if just see if our feeling is already ensured, mm -hmm. if we are already having the right feeling then how it would be? Then there would be no reaction, neither inside nor outside. Yes, madam. Because I would be able to rightly evaluate the situation, mm. whatever the situation may be. So nice. Yes, madam. We are trying to go to the root cause, madam. Yeah, we are trying to see the things the way they are without yeah, yeah, giving some separate meaning to it. Yeah, yeah, madam. 
Yeah. Previously, we were not uh, able to go to the root cause. Now we are able to go to the root cause and uh, referring to the natural acceptance. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Good morning, Nidhi. Good morning. Yeah, um, I, what I was thinking when in this situation is uh, the state of my mind uh, when when I when I would be in such a situation. For example, if I'm already in a state of harmony, then my response may be slightly different. But when I'm not in harmony, when I'm already a little disturbed, then I may res uh, respond or rather react in a different way. So Certainly. That, Certainly, that, that makes a difference. Hmm, that was one thing I was observing. And uh, also that... Uh, uh, even even when something like that happens, when and uh, when water gets splashed on on me or whatever, I I would sometimes I see myself uh, drifting too much into you know what that that person may uh, be going through or you know and sometimes I I I need to I feel the need to stop myself and see let uh, let me focus on my harmony rather than you know get into uh, what uh, the other person. Uh, could be suffering or you know necessary getting into the other thoughts those are the two sharings so you will see this that uh, like you mentioned one that when we ourselves are in disharmony of course we are not able to rightly evaluate the situation outside so we are more likely to give a different meaning and perhaps react to the situation that is why when our, when, you know, we have the right understanding, with that our feeling is ensured. So when I have the right feeling within, then it is easy for me to rightly evaluate the situation outside. So this you were able to notice and that's an important point I think that uh, we can all see. Ultimately, my, you know, what kind of feeling I have within me, whether I am comfortable or uncomfortable with that feeling, that will lead to this, uh, you know, how I evaluate the situation outside. But there you can see the indefiniteness because my feeling is not ensured. So sometimes I have the right feeling, sometimes I don't have the right feeling. So I cannot ensure my happiness in continuity. The only way for me to ensure my happiness in continuity is to, to work for the right understanding so that I can ensure the right feeling at all times within me. So if I have the right feeling at all times, then no matter what the situation outside, I don't get disturbed. Anyway, you do what you have to do. You go change your clothes, whatever it is but you need not get disturbed and unhappy about it. That part. Thank you. Namaste, madam. Namaste. I'm audible, ma'am. You're audible. Uh, ma'am, same situation. Uh, when I am going for a function, say, I'm dressed well, and uh, I don't have time, I'm rushing. If that time something happens to me, whatever I react, maybe for my situation, not for the other person uh, who has, um, and has done this splitting, but it may be for my situation, the reaction automatically comes, oh, I don't have time to go back, dress back and move on what I have to do like that. In that situation, how we will be in that? Definitely reaction will be there, right? Yeah, you can notice that what is your feeling? Is it naturally acceptable, not but, naturally uh, acceptable? The opposition or the feeling is for the situation. It Doesn't may not matter. be on the other person because we understand that what, what could be his uh, state, we don't know. So it may not be for the opposition for the person who is driving the car. But it is for my situation, how to handle that then? Yeah. So you see whether it is any kind of feeling that I have that is not naturally acceptable to me, whether it is directed towards another individual, whether it is a non-acceptance of a situation, 
whatever it may be it is still yeah. a feeling that is not naturally acceptable and it is a cause of unhappiness you can see that at that moment you are not comfortable you are disturbed yes because of the discomfort which i have how to handle the situation how to be calm and how to handle it this is what the whole process is <laughs> that we are doing <laughs> <laughs> because it is situational now i am not pointing out anybody i am into a bad situation where i have to come out of that whether i have to make my not to go for a function and find out some excuse and tell the people or uh, i need to think about it the situation makes it right that time to be calm i i need more exploration i think so anybody yeah, in that situation right what what kind of meaning we are giving to it for another person this meaning may be very different no yes. another person might think okay it doesn't matter i'll be little late but i'll change my clothes and go another person who may not give so much importance to clothes may still go with the same clothes <laughs> <laughs> you see so everything that we do everything that we think everything that we feel the meaning that we attach to it that is driving our feeling ma'am i have one more question so does when this same does, mistake wait, wait, same wait. mistake is carried wait, wait, yeah before you yeah. go to the next thing with this situation are you were you able to get some clue or some answer ultimately we have to work for understanding yeah so that we can ensure our feeling remember we okay. talk of not just feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence this is what is naturally acceptable so anything out of this that is to be disturbed so how to resolve it we have to work for the understanding work yeah. for the higher activities work for the exploration paying attention inside ultimately we'll be moving in that direction yes now you can get to the uh, next if a person does a mistake uh, uh, for the second time or the third time first time it's okay we understand but if the mistake is continued by the person second time or third time in that situation maybe the maybe third time say in that situation how should be our reaction definitely we will be reacting right we have taken two experiences and it is the third one again now in what way we have to be we um, men number of time for the first time second time we have told them or try to improve their competency right even then they are so reluctant in that situation in what way we have to be how many times have you been through this this information no uh, maybe two through. times say okay just a hypothetical And, case i am asking no, no. i am also just saying just as an example just to bring yeah. out a point yeah so many times we go through this information right from level 2 workshop to all yeah. these you know sessions and uh, all this information we have got again and again and again yet we react now yes. what do you call that lack of competence lack of understanding or wrong intention what do you call that no i don't take it as wrong intention yeah but why uh, if they are not paying uh, importance to the things which have been uh, they don't understand on their own if something is said also uh, they are not uh, trying to develop it or uh, still reluctant what is there uh, the person is coming and telling so exaggerated they don't consider the point like that some some kind of feeling comes to us right so they so lack in that understanding way, but where is my focus is my focus on correcting them or is my focus on ensuring my own feeling because in the process of trying to correct them i can see that i am only getting disturbed yes isn't it so yeah. i can at least start with trying to ensure my feeling that is 100% in my control when that fellow will change you know whether it will happen soon later it will depend on many factors okay. i can certainly make effort to help the other but when that person will change that is not up to me isn't it yeah so i may be very disappointed 
if i have these kind of expectations that the other person now i have told twice they must follow and they must change their behavior it may not happen so but okay my feeling 100% i am responsible i can change i can have it as the right feeling if i am you know working for or no ma'am I... now my question is what kind of feeling i should have now two times three times four times i have been telling and there is no change on that what I mean first time means we understand that could be something else we should not misinterpret like that we consider it and uh, we and that to we have i have also practiced but now when it is a continuous uh, fault something is happening i can ensure my feeling that also i understand but how to ensure it what kind of thought i can make it so that i can ensure myself that i am calm inside i am not disturbed yeah so it is not the thought that you have to change because yeah. thought is more gross than the feeling the feeling yeah. drives the thought rather than the other way around yes if you think about it and you try to change that feeling it will work temporarily for that moment but again it will slip back to the meaning that i have given somewhere okay. even though i am saying that the intention is right but you see what it is in my living i am mm. going by past experience i am not going by intention intention means what if i can see my intention it is my natural acceptance just as yeah. my natural acceptance is for relationship harmony coexistence so is the natural acceptance of every other person now if that fellow is not referring to the natural acceptance it is a lack of competence is it not yes ma'am no. so ultimately there also the intention is pure it is only yeah. lack of competence so whether it happens two times or 10 times or 20 times he is not paying attention to that you know natural acceptance so it will keep happening so i would still say it is lack of competence but there you know how much success i have with making effort that depends on many factors isn't it but in my case how to ensure the feeling that is 100% up to me so how do i do it refer to your natural acceptance don't go by just thought refer to the natural acceptance ultimately that is the way to unfold these higher activities also paying attention to your feeling paying attention to what is naturally acceptable and going with that feeling slowly you will see the changes happen okay ma'am in that case i mean if we one point we come and we ignore things right in that case we are not disturbed when we ignore it we don't we don't get disturbed but uh, when we continuously say tell and there is no improvement no change we are affected out of it if we are not affected there is no issue when we get affected uh, again and again so when we men my process says that ignoring is also not right uh, yeah, that I is also not naturally acceptable you will see ignoring what you are trying to do you are avoiding yes many a time you are avoiding that person you are you know there also ignoring inside you are you know you are not in you are not interacting with that person but what do you do with the feeling inside you that feeling oh. of opposition is there it is sitting inside that is the cause of your discomfort your unhappiness that's why you are ignoring subtle the feeling right what is that when i ignore and leave it i have a subtle opposition feeling right yeah i mean you may not notice it but yeah. it is a feeling of opposition isn't it that's why you are avoiding the other person so rather than ignore or avoid what we can do is to try to rightly evaluate to try to see that the other's intention was not to make me unhappy it is just that he lacks understanding so now my effort changes now instead of avoiding ignoring i say okay i will make effort to help him out but at the same time i will not have unreal expectation that because i have told him once or twice he must change see i will keep the right expectation that he lacks understanding so i will try to 
help him with the understanding but all the time i will ensure the right feeling within myself so i am calm i am comfortable regardless of what happens outside if my feeling is right i am calm and ultimately you will realize that that's what you were actually wanted what you wanted was not to try to change the other what you were trying to get to was this feeling of calm within and this you can do on your own yeah yes ma'am yes okay ma'am i get your point yeah <laughs> thank you thank you ma'am okay let's move forward i think we spent a lot of time here but um we'll move forward yes so now if you look at step 6b so far we looked at step 6a where you know we have lack of understanding now if we look at step 6b where we have a sanskar based on understanding then what happens then we respond to the situation so if my sanskar is based on knowing or on right understanding then i will have the right feeling because i can see the relatedness i can have the right feeling at all times and i am in a state of harmony and happiness because of the feeling ensured by right understanding now whatever sensation i read i use this sensation to make the right evaluation of whether it be the body if it is sensation within the body or the outside world and then i choose i decide how to respond my response will be something that is mutually fulfilling something that is fulfilling for me as well as for the other this is the very big difference when i am going without understanding i am only concerned about myself and i am when i am disturbed i still think it is the other fellow but i just want to be calm i want to be comfortable but this is going one step further not only am i calm am i comfortable but i also see the others need for understanding so i whatever i choose to do i try to be in a way that it is mutually fulfilling not just fulfilling for me but for the other also so now i can see that the feeling that the other is expressing is indicating his state of being i don't have to be disturbed by it for example the other person is getting excited or angry so he doesn't have right understanding and he himself is uncomfortable inside so he is just expressing what he has if he is angry inside what will he express outside i can't expect anything different because he will express only what he has so he will express that anger so that is showing his state that he doesn't have right understanding he needs help but i don't have to get disturbed by that if i can see that you know my natural acceptance if i refer to it i can have the right feeling now with that right feeling i my concern becomes what i can do to assure him what i can do to make him feel comfortable because he is uncomfortable so i have concern for him so i will at least express the right feeling and try to help him to develop the right understanding if it is possible for me to do so so this is a different look at a different perspective of seeing the situation here i am able to see my relationship with the other so i am able to see that he also lacks understanding he also needs help so my concern now becomes how to help him similarly if there's any physical chemical change in the environment like we mentioned about cold weather and we overdress and all now 
I will just be able to evaluate rightly by how cold it really is and what kind of clothes to wear. I will also be able to see that there is no such thing as bad weather. It is only my reaction to the weather that we, classif we can classify as bad. But really, you know, whatever the weather is, I see, okay, the weather is like this. I can't go changing the weather. I will dress accordingly. And there is no problem. Even if it is some problem in the body, I evaluate it correctly. So like we gave that example that if you have a headache, it might just be lack of water. So drink some water, something like that. Rather than panic and try to do something else. And then if I choose to express my response outside, then I take the help of the body. But otherwise, all this giving meaning, all this, you know, responding or reacting within, this is all happening in the self. Only at the last phase, I choose whether to express it outside or not. And whatever the situation outside, it has no influence on my state of happiness because I am with that right feeling. I am self-organized. So this is possible and this is doable, but we have to work for understanding. We have to pay attention, refer to the natural acceptance repeatedly. And slowly we will see the changes happening. Maybe the frequency will come down and so on. Yes, um, I think we can, we don't have much time. Um, I think we'll stop here then. We will, you know, try to look at this for today. Tomorrow, uh, we will try to close this step. We go forward in this step. And then from after the step six, we'll be going back to the lectures where we left off. So we'll go to lecture 12. So for now, today, we'll reflect on this. Try to see things the way they are. Try to see, you know, that I am a lot of times unnecessarily attaching a different meaning. But is the reality like that? Am I able to see that it is the other's state that the other is expressing. It's not about the other creating unhappiness for me, which is what my interpretation may be. So I'll also put an assignment in the group and we can try to do that today, all day. And then tomorrow we'll take your reflections. So we'll stop here.